Hello YouTube, how is everybody doing? Xcamo here as always, bringing you guys another cube defense video. And today we're going to be doing a That Ice Tower review. So for those of you who may not have seen this tower before, this is one of the reward towers from the Winter Trial. Uh, to play Winter Trial you need uh, to be level 30 and have 2000 stars and it only comes out at the weekends. There is a 50% chance to get this tower and a 2.5% chance to get this tower. If you haven't seen this tower video already, be sure to click the link that's going to appear in the top right now and it will take you to a video on that. So, you guys might be wondering why we're in a classic co-op this time instead of Battlefield co-op. Well, unlike Frost Rail, I feel as though that ice is a lot better in classic co-op and that's why it's come to be one of my favourite towers in the entire game. Okay, before we show you what it's like in game, let's go over the stats of Death Ice. Level 1, it does 0 damage, it has a fire rate of 6 and range of 12. It costs 900 to upgrade to Ice Crystal Storage, which has, again, 0 damage, fire rate of 5 and range of 15. It costs 1350 to upgrade to Compact Blizzard. And the stats for Compact Blizzard are... 5 damage, fire rate of 5, and range of 15. It costs 2950 cash to upgrade to Frostbite. Frostbite does 15 damage, has a fire rate of 4 and 20 range, and costs 15,025 cash to upgrade to the final stage, Permafrost. Uh, Permafrost does 35 damage, has a fire rate of 3.5, and a range of 25. Uh, one thing to add as well, Permafrost used to do 45 damage when it first came out, but as of recent updates, it now does 35. So let's go to it in game. Okay guys, and so we are back. This is a little setup that I like to use with that ice. Uh, the reason I use blade spinners around it mainly is because of their small range. And what the Dat Ice does is it allows all the cubes to stay in range of the blade spinners and they do as much damage as possible. A couple things to note before we actually start a wave. You guys might be wondering why I haven't upgraded this campfire to Holy Flame. The reason for that is Permafrost has a freeze time of 3 seconds when it hits a cube. And with Pure Fire, the fire rate is 3.15. Now, what this means is that the cubes have 0.15 seconds to move in between being frozen and that means they stay frozen for a very very long time. If we were to upgrade the campfire to Holy Flame, the fire rate would change to around 2.8 and the first set of cubes that come in will get frozen and then the cubes behind it will come in and get frozen as well and the first cubes will just get unfrozen since the that ice has already hit the second time and then they'll be able to go through a bit further so it just keeps everything safe it means that all the cubes stay nice and frozen for as long as possible so what we're going to do now is we're going to start wave 42 i know a lot of people have trouble with this wave and i'm just going to show you how strong that ice is when paired with blade spinners So as you can see the Datite is keeping all the Shadow Cube bosses in place and then the Blade Spinners are able to do all the damage needed to kill them. Usually by way 42 as well, you I mean if you enhance the Blade Spinners you could easily get decapitators. And for the permafrost, it doesn't take too long to level it up, so you should have that by then as well. This is just like a very basic setup to show you how strong that ice is, and why it's one of my personal favourite towers in the game. And there you have it, wave 42 easily cleared with that ice and blade spinners. 
So that's all we've got for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a like if you did, consider subscribing to the channel and comment down below what you would like to see next. Thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see you in the next Keep Defense video.